and welcome back to Empire Total War with Darth Mod. Last time around, what we did do then? Um, yes, we defeated the Ottomans over here. However, uh, quite a sizable force remained, but I was able to chase that down. And since then, and the commander died, so we've ch switched out that one. Sent down Dolka, Hugo Dolka, to take over. And he has now moved in to take over. I've also moved over more of the pikemen. So I have four. One thing that I think was mentioned in last episode it was like... Um, it might be useful to actually have a... A drill school or whatever. Uh, keep one low tier just so I can keep replenishing the pikemen. Because, well, I didn't realize that uh, once you actually upgrade past a certain point, you cannot longer and you can no longer recruit pikemen so I can no longer actually recruit them um, another important development since last time is the fact that we have gone ahead and become uh, allies with the Austrians anyways Dolk is in command of the army and they're up to scrap they're fully manned all of them I've merged a few units um, but we also have units on the way marching down to uh, join the fight. So we're getting reinforcements. In all this time, the Ottomans haven't really been sending that many men. And what of, of what my spies can gather, there are no reinforcements on the way. The capital actually lay open for some reason. Quite strange. Um, however, we have two forces that we need to take out. So first this one in the town, and then this one here. And this one here is going to be troublesome, not so much because of the troops it carries, but because of this cannon. And if I remember correctly, it's uh, quite a devastating cannon. With that said, let's have Hugo Dalka continue forwards and uh, actually move into Moldovia and take on the Ottomans. So they have a force of 3,000 while we have 4,600. They have very little chance of actually winning this, so I'm gonna offer them uh, free passage out of the town if they surrender the town. They do not agree, they're gonna hold the town to the last man, and we're gonna make sure, or Hugo Dolke is gonna make sure that they hold uh, the town until the very last man. So, without further ado, let's draw into battle. So, we are ready to assault the little town. I've drawn up the troops as following. We've got cavalry on the flanks, the provincial horse on the right, the lances or the lance on the left. Um, oh yeah, I have uh, at this point actually installed the additional mod uh, uh, additional units mod. Uh, it doesn't add that much specific units to Poland now. As far as I could tell there was really only one unit that was added. Um, right, uh, let's see what else. Yes, from the front we've got the line infantry and at this point we have socket bayonets. So uh, that should improve quite a bit. Behind them we've got the pikemen then there's the array of cannons, and behind them there is the militia. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. There has been a few people actually wanting longer videos. The thing about that is, of course, I think most people rem might remember, most probably not, or maybe they do, what one would hope that they do, uh, that we had a vote in the community tab about what was the preferred length of videos. And in that vote, 30 minutes won. So, by quite the margin as well. So we're not going to go ahead and increase the, um, the time of the episodes, unfortunately. For you guys but um, if you want um, or if you uh, 
Um, what should I say? There is a way in which you can get more. And that is if you become a paid subscriber, which costs, I believe, around $5 a month. In that case, you will actually gain access to the videos ahead of time as soon as I upload them. So you will be getting yeah, the videos ahead of time, so you will get more videos. So most of the time what I do is say I, I usually try to record like three in advance and then I release the first one and then as you know I do it uh, release like one season goal and one uh, alternating between the two series I do. Um, so the people who are paid subscribers usually get all three videos at the same time while the rest of you have to wait uh, to get all of them. So that's that's one way that wouldn't compromise me uh, you know, doing longer videos as well. I mean this battle is more or less like just a precursor to me taking on that uh, organ gun. Hopefully try to minimate... Minima <laughs> I think we just hit our, our own unit here with cannon. Try to uh, minimize the casualties. Most of the Ottoman units route just at the site of the army. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are they firing back? It kind of looks like something's firing back. But I'm not sure. Like, there, there goes the Ottoman army. I did not even have to, like, really do much. So anyways, even though, <laughs> I, I don't know, how the, there's probably a better way to, this, to explain how to... Uh, I haven't really promoted it before, the uh, paid subscriber thing. Right now I have four. And you know what, what I should really have done is, like... Uh, mention the four one the four people that actually do have that are paid subscribers. I think oh, I think there is. I mean, the thing was I was gonna do a uh, a lower level as well, like you would pay lower than uh, five dollars a month. But the thing is. Uh, it was kind of locked, and they kind of... Not locked, I shouldn't say, but... It was not available from the start when I, when I joined the paid subscription program. Um, so, uh, that came afterwards. So I, I kind of had to... And th at, that, at that point, you couldn't actually choose at what le le uh, level people became paid subscribers. Because I think... Um, I'd probably do it at a much lower level than was set by YouTube. Even though maybe $5 isn't that much, but it might be much um, for some people just to spend on, you know, getting my videos ahead of time. And also, uh, the thing about it, it, they set it up so you can do levels. Um, of payment, but the thing is, you c I can't like um, set the posts I give out at the levels. So I, I I tried to set a lower one, or tried to set up a lower one, but I realized the lower one would get I the exact same as the can as the five dollar one. So w then, what would be the point of uh, doing it at the five dollar level? Because I think I could probably, uh, you could probably do a lot better by having a lower level. Because you would get more people being able to join in being paid subscribers. So instead of four, maybe I would have eight or something and I would still kind of make, uh, I would ma still like make more money from that. It actually turned out that it was 
the resistance was a bit stiffer than initially thought. I should have sent my cavalry to chase them down the first time they routed. Let's continue after the Basiburuk and the Azars. So uh, yeah, that's you get a few other things like you get the you get a rank marker next to your name um, depending on how long you, that increases for how long you've actually been a paid subscriber I don't think you've seen that but um, it should uh, it should end up next to those four people's names uh, and it's like military rank so you first start off as like a pri private I think or something uh, I can't exactly recall what I said it to. Maybe I said it to sergeant. So you start off at like sergeant level, and then as it goes along, uh, the levels increase. At first, they they uh, they ran like super easy. Now they're actually holding out quite a bit. But uh, I don't see them holding out for much longer anyways. And it's a bunch of crap. The second Ulans. I think the second Ulans are in fact a uh, additional mod unit. Possibly. Chase them all down. We got the last unit there. No, there's one all the way back here. Tell the cannons to focus in. There's quite a bit of range on these guns. And yeah, th I think the battle is done there. It took us about 10 minutes. Which should allow me to fit the other battle as well. Damn, the range of the range of these cannons is quite insane. I kind of saw the cavalry, and then there's like, nah, we're gonna go. Kind of too late though, guys. As they get overrun by cavalry, four regiments. The entire cavalry brigade completely runs them down. The thing is, I don't need to chase them down because, well, it's the town, so no one's going to escape there anyways. Right, and on to the second battle. And there we have the statistics. I only lost about 400 men while the enemy lost everything. Highest killer was cavalry. And then one line infantry unit did quite a lot. Cannons. Not so much, but cannons are usually more effective when using canister than is when you see the kills rack up. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if it's... Oh, you know what? The religious unrest is a lot higher down here. Um, I wonder if the... How it works. Like, if it's... Um, the Christians... Because you, I don't get that much religious unhappiness. I get two here. And the province is 82 Protestant. Uh, maybe they, you know, you get... They get more angry if it's from a very different one. So the Muslim one. Or, the, or maybe it's because there's such a split of all three. And that is causing the main problem. Gonna exempt the region from tax. And I don't have the money to upgrade this. Oh, you know what? I don't. I can recruit pikemen from here. Uh, and I can recruit two extra pikemen. Nice. So then we'll just need to repair this. And then I can to get two extra pikemen. Pikemen are really useful against Ottomans. And so with that, we're gonna start marching. To get rid of these guys. What are they in that 
Okay, I will enter and hope they come out of there or come closer to us. We'll see what happens. And we're at the end turn and the Ottomans have not moved away from the border there. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, there's some Prussian rebels I need to deal with as well. But I do think that's an outer assault. Especially now since I've uh, put, that, put up a f and four extra regiments here. So that should do just fine. One interesting happened, and uh, one thing uh, quite interesting happened, um, was the army, as I, as I was chasing down from the battle that took place there, chasing down the Ottomans here, they actually moved north, um, and I chased down a big part of it, but some of them actually made it all the way through here, and they are now in Kurland territory, um, raiding back and forth that area which I have found kind of hilarious they're running about there at, at some point I'll send some troops to aid the Kurlandians um, what I think we'll do is I think if I just marched within like range of the enemy army that they would go ahead and attack me we're gonna go ahead and repair this so I can recruit pikemen from here That'll be nice. Come out of there, you coward. Right. The Crimeans. The Crimeans are harboring their protectorate of the Ottomans. So they're harboring the uh, Ottomans. And that leaves me no choice but to request a trade agreement. No, to declare war. And we're not going to bring in anyone else into this. Uh, and by anyone else, I mean um, the Austrians. There we go. And it's a bigger force. Now they're actually outnumbering us. And they have that quite devastating cannon. But um, And you can tell that it's a quite devastating one. Because they, there's a limit of two cannons for this one. Uh, but with that said, let's have Hugo Dalka uh, munch into Crimean territory and take this Ottoman army out. A very foggy morning, we set out to attack the enemy position, and they do hold the high ground. We'll see how this goes. That gun, quite concerned about it. They actually start on kind of the uh, opposite side of the hill and for the formation since I didn't really go through that is exactly the same as last time there we go there comes the Ottoman volley gun thing and it took out 25 men out of this one 5 out of this quite a few here and there and I don't think Hugo should sit behind the artillery because it seems like there that's what they're aiming for so kind of a nasty oh and they have dug it in however it looks like maybe we broke that yeah I think we broke down two cannons in the first volley of us firing back on them but they've really fortified this position around this cannon Luckily for me, I actually shot down two of them. That could have been a lot worse volley. And we threw a guy up here. Okay, they're ready to fire again. Oh, no, it, that, it uh, is missing a wheel. For some reason. It's like a... It's like a canister shot, but it, it's shot of the canister. It's a cannonball. So yeah, you can understand that that's pretty darn devastating. And that needs to be focused on. Right, the Provincial Cavalry. It's ready on its side. And the Lancers are kind of ready on their side. I don't know if... I'm not going to send in the Cavalry first. 
I'm gonna allow the infantry to go in first. And I think we'll hold right here. Have them run to their positions. So I think we'll probably see a lot of these run. And as they do, the provincial cavalry will sweep in and get rid of a lot of these big groups of soldiers. Comes another volley. I think they're actually aiming for that unit right there now, and not for my cannons. The infantry should. You know what? We can't wait. I'll order the cavalry to charge in here. Hopefully they'll break those and then they can continue into these. Which I saw some of them already kind of breaking down. We have one idiot guy climbing up there away from the unit. It's causing a bit of a problem because that means that this one isn't firing. The Ottomans, as per usual, run straight into our lines. Aren't the pikemen to advance, so they're just behind the lines. So they'll aid in that fight. The uh, Azars are being defeated. We'll chase them for a little bit. And then we'll turn to face these. Actually, we'll send down the lancers now to deal with them. I want to cut these guys down to quite the size. You know what? I'll order the pikemen to advance through that. And then the cavalry will go over here. The lancers are now arriving over here. As the uh, there's a Muslim horde charging in. Which I... Th yeah, they're routed pretty quickly and were slaughtered by the pikemen. Right, I want the pikemen going all the way up to the ridge. And I want the line infantry to follow. Cavalry will move back to deal with the flanks. And my cavalry over here. Ah, oh, there's the, the hindrance. Uh, we're not going to ride on to those. Then move against these instead. We slaughtered a mass of these uh, armed populace peasantry with pitchforks. We are being assaulted in the flank, but the lancers are there to uh, clear up those Ottoman Assars. Pikemen will attack there and march towards the few uh, remaining enemy units and then the, reg the infantry regiments will follow behind the Assars will sent away we've got a group of Basiburuk which will send over the lancers to deal with pikemen here are charging and they're getting up to take out the cannon at this point which I guess realized their fate and uh, ran as soon as the pike unit arrived. We do have a unit of Janissaries that are responding and are charging us. And then the pikes and the line infantry are both embroiled over here and we're just gonna have a massive melee take place here. Ah, look at that. I've got one pikeman and one infantry unit free on the flank that can uh, tear up the flank. Where are the provincial cavalry? The provincial cavalry will return. 
Oh, there's a lot of... I guess we'll, we can place the cavalry behind there once the enemy ret retreat through that. The pikemen at the cannon decided to run, uh, and I can only imagine it's due to friendly fire. And now that pike unit that came up behind is charging in the rear of the enemy unit, causing panic among the Ottoman troops. And they're all now running away. Well, some are actually standing. The Janissaries are standing over here. But most of the weaker units, the uh, the Muslim horde units, are retreating. But now I can focus the entirety of the army to charge down the remainder there of enemy units. I think my Lancers actually got kind of crushed by those... Um, Kind of got crushed by those, uh, what's it called, Basiburuk. So we'll retreat the cavalry and I'll focus the artillery on them. And then I think it's enough to just have the pikemen go ahead and get rid of them. Line infantry will organize itself like so. And then we'll have the pikemen now marching to face off with those guys. Cavalry will retire and this pike unit is kinda all over the place. Didn't I tell you to ride away? And I ordered this one to form square. Which they don't seem to have listened to. But now they form square. It's a bit late when the uh, Ottoman unit is all over. And uh, time to hold fire with the cannons. And the Bazi Baruk are defeated by the square. Drop the square and march after them. These massive pike lines will move to the hill. Uh, and what's going on here? My cavalry has actually not been able to uh, break their position right here, which means we'll send the pikemen to do it. We'll hide them behind the lip of the hill, and then they'll move across and crush them. And the infantry will line up here to uh, come into the flank. So, uh, only one cavalry unit remains that we'll send over here. The cavalry shocks aren't as devastating in this as they are in Napoleon. You can always kind of count on... I don't even know if the... the, yeah, the Well, the arc of the artillery when it's firing in Empire is a lot different. Like the cannonball, as soon as it leaves the barrel, like goes almost, you know, straight up. Um, compared to Napoleon, where it's more it's more of a straight line. I don't think the cannons can, in fact, fire from that weird angle. Oh, you know what? We're almost hitting our pikemen. And yeah, the, the, it's a uh, really uh, weird angle to attack from. The Ottoman... I guess they haven't realized they've lost... They, maybe they're going back to retake the cannon position. Who knows? Uh, but I guess they don't know that it's like a, over a thousand uh, Polish pikemen on the other side of that. And so either they just see the pikes over the edge and they hear the trample of foot, the uh, all the footsteps. Oh, and they have the uh, plug bayonets.
but suddenly the unit is completely overwhelmed by Polish pikemen. Which just entirely splinters the unit. And we can see the numbers there dwindling rather quickly on the Ottoman unit. No one told you to stop. Chase them down. Oh, the Basikburu came back. But they only needed to see the slaughter to run away. And this guy, I guess he po pointed at that guy, so he died. Uh, and there we have that. The volley gun is now defeated. I guess Dolka has to, Hugo Dolka has to continue on and take the Crimean region before he can go towards Constantinople. Which means that the Ottomans could in fact rally an army there. But we cannot leave the Crimean region sort of off to our flank, especially since we haven't actually fought any of the Crimean troops. So we can imagine that there is... Can, can it, apparently we can imagine a lot of things. And a lot of things means a lot of Tatars. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the campaign map and take a look at uh, what transpires there. And here we have the results of the battle. We lost a thousand men, or almost 1200 men to be exact. While the enemy lost 4,000 out of a 5,000 men army. Highest killers, pikemen. We have a pike unit that killed 588 Ottomans. And I'm hoping that the unit was completely destroyed, but that was not the case. And not only that, but the bloody volley gun still remains. We'll stay on our side. 5,000 to replenish. Guess we'll just wait for the reinforcements to arrive, and then it would be nice. Do I have a spy close by? This is my closest spy. If he can actually figure out what they have there. They have a little fort. And he would be there. Well, then Dalka can actually pursue this one, destroy that. And he can then turn on Sevastopol, and then the spy will be at Sevastopol before him so we know what's up there and maybe we can get the Russians to join in um, there is no actual option to uh, ask them to join in against the Tartars I don't see why they haven't started fighting the Tartars yet oh they are fighting the Tartars but uh, there's some farms burning here. Might mean the Tatar army is actually moving to uh, uh, Kiev or something like that. Right, anyways, I think we'll end the episode right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.